I am Kratoa. I am a Khoi woman and a princess in my tribe. I was born to the Khore Niko tribe in 1643. I grew up alongside the beautiful shores of the Cape. It was here that I was raised by my uncle who was known as Henry the Strand Loper. He was the leader among my people and also a great assistant to the Dutch as he spoke many languages and acted as an interpreter. In 1652, when I was only nine years old, I was introduced to Jan van Riebeck and I was taken into his home as a servant. I was handed over to him by my uncle with the argument that he'll be able to trade exclusively with the Dutch. My uncle had taught me the European languages and I spoke all the Khoi tribe languages, so it was my job to help him translate. I was also assigned to work in his home with his wife Maria van Riebeck. I was a playmate and nanny to his children and also a servant to Maria. And it was by Maria that I was taught of Christianity. In my time working in their home, I was brutally raped by Jan van Riebeck, and this caused me to fall pregnant, although I miscarried the child. These events were recorded in Jan van Riebeck's diary. At the time of my brutal attack, I was betrothed to another man, and due to my falling pregnant by someone else who was outside of my core ethnicity, I was rejected by my family. I was an outcast. I had no place among the Dutch and my own people no longer accepted me. It was after this that I met Peter van Mierhoff, a Danish soldier, and we fell deeply in love. I converted to Christianity for him and in 1662 I was baptized and given a new name, Eva. Peter and I were the first interracial union in the South African history. We had two children, making them the first interracial children in the Cape. I carried on with my work as a translator, and it was my job to negotiate between the Khoi and the Dutch. I became a political tool, peacefully resolving disputes and even wars. We then moved to Robben Island so that Peter and I could see to the prisons. In those times, Peter would leave me for long periods of time, and it was then that I would be completely isolated. My own people ignored me, and the Dutch belittled me when Peter was away. I would always remain an outcast, and so I drank. When my Peter died, they took my children away from me, only eight and one years old. My beautiful, unique children. I really learned to depend on alcohol as I was paid for my work with alcohol. Alcohol became my crutch. In 1674, at the age of 32, I, Krotoa, the Khoi princess, died of a broken heart. <laughs>